I'd like to ask you, if I may, uh, Maharishi, the connection between the science of creative intelligence and uh, transcendental meditation, the practice. Every science has two aspects to it, theoretical and practical. Theoretical to give knowledge and practical to give experience and substantiate that knowledge. Like that, science of creative intelligence also has two aspects, theoretical, which deals with the nature of creative intelligence and the method or system through which creative intelligence can be developed to its full value in daily life. All this is intellectual part of the science of creative intelligence. And transcendental meditation is the practical phase of science of creative intelligence. In order to give the experience of the pure nature of creative intelligence, the mechanics through which it develops and the range of its influence in life. So, science of creative intelligence for its knowledge and for its experiential value of creative intelligence is a very complete knowledge. See, the thing is, whatever knowledge is gained by anyone, it's gained on the level of his consciousness. One looks at the flower, the image of the flower travels through the eyes and it falls on the screen of consciousness. The knowledge of the flower is structured on the level of consciousness deep within the mind. One hears some word and the word travels through the ears and it strikes somewhere deep within on the level of consciousness. And then this gives the knowledge of what we are hearing. All the senses bring the informations from outside and all those informations are deposited on the level of consciousness. And this is how knowledge of anything is structured. So, we say knowledge is structured in consciousness. That area within us, which is pure consciousness, unbounded awareness, which every meditator experiences in his meditation at the source of thought, and that unbounded awareness is the home of all knowledge. It's a beautiful word, I like it very much, home of all. In the home, pure awareness or unbounded awareness, pure consciousness is the home of all knowledge. It's from there that knowledge comes out and it is there that all knowledge gets structured. Through transcendental meditation, that unbounded awareness opens itself to our attention. In meditation, the attention goes deep within and it opens to that area where the mind gains that value of pure awareness and bounded awareness. In this way, through daily practice, the home of all knowledge, the field of unbounded awareness becomes stabilized on one's awareness and then whatever one thinks or speaks or does, one does remaining in the home of all knowledge. To structure the home of all knowledge within everyone's awareness is the purpose of this science of creative intelligence. First, to know what creative intelligence is by direct experience through meditation and having known that area of unbounded creativity within, the awareness remains saturated with that value. The awareness then is the home of all knowledge. Performance of every action remaining within the home of all knowledge will be a flawless, faultless performance. Actions will not be, will not have mistakes. One would think without mistakes. One would act without mistakes. This is the value of knowledge. Education is to make a man educated. And educa educated man is supposed to be a knowledgeable man. 
a man who sits in the home of all knowledge and therefore on that basis does not make a mistake in his thinking, planning, action. And therefore he achieves what he wants. A flawless, faultless man is the educated man. The education in the science of creative intelligence aims at developing such a man who will not make mistakes in his life. When the awareness is, is the home of all knowledge, then the awareness becomes a computer from which all currents of thought and action will be computed in such a way that every thought and action will produce only life-supporting influence for the doer and for all his environment. This is a very sure way to have no problems of environment, to have no problems in one's own thinking, in one's own actions. So science of creative intelligence is a very much needed knowledge now when the pace of progress is fast. Because in this fast tempo of life, we can't afford to make mistakes. When we want to fly with, say, 500 miles an hour or 2,000 miles an hour, we can't make a mistake. <laughs> One little mistake will deviate us from the right path and will not, will make us difficult to reach the goal. <laughs> So in this highly developed scientific age, it's very difficult for us to be in the grip of mistakes. For that, the only safe way is to structure a computer in our awareness, which will spontaneously compute right action, effective action, so that no mistakes. And then the call of our time, which is to progress much faster than ever before, will be fulfilled. So science of creative intelligence is a timely knowledge to enable a man to keep pace with the fast tempo of progress which he has created. <laughs>